I want you to be very, very wary. When there's a housing boom on, there's a lot of little tricks out there that the developers and the uh, project builders can play on you. So today I'm gonna to share with you a couple of things to look out for. If you're looking at house and land, you want house and land as an investment, or even a first home buyer, it's very important you understand a few of these key things. Around about five years ago, I had a, a young tradie come and see me. Um, he was in his late 20s, early, heading towards 30, and he was looking to buy a house and land package. So I sat him down, I showed him the ins and outs of what to do, what to look for, what it's all about, how it all works, presented a package to him, hooked him up with one of my project builders. He decides, you know what, I think I can go out there and do it on my own. I warned him. I said, look, be very, very careful. You don't know who you're going out there to see. You don't know who the companies are you're talking to. You don't understand pricing. There's a whole range of things that you need to factor in, right? So anyway, lo and behold, he goes off, he does his own thing, Goes in, he got caught up with this dodgy little builder who's out in the middle of nowhere, right? He buys his house and land package. Unbeknownst to him, he thought he was getting a really good price. Because see, here's all he was thinking. Oh, your price is X, Y, Z. I've seen them in the market for blah, blah, blah. And he's looking at all these lower price properties, right? Well, here's where I'm going to share with you how not to get caught out. So what happened to him was this. He actually got caught out because he didn't know what he was doing, he didn't know what he was buying, he didn't know what he was signing, he didn't know who he was dealing with. That house and land package that he thought was cheap ended up costing him $70,000 more. 70 grand, folks. That's a bloody lot of money that he got stooged, the young fella. I felt so sorry for him. He come back and soon he said, Tony, Jesus, I wish I had to listen to you, etc., etc. right? So, folks, here's a few of the key things I want you to look out for. Number one, Here's what they'll do out in the land sales offices and the housing estates. They'll house and land packages from, and they'll put a really low price. That's designed to get your eyeballs on the fence, get you to walk in there to the display suite, and get you sucked in and get you in the door, right? That's not how it works, okay? When they're talking about, um, you know, low price properties, price from, I'll guarantee you there's three or four things that you're gonna miss out on, all right? So here's what you need to look out for. Number one, do you know what you're paying compared to the rest of the market? Because it could be based on the size of the block of land. It could be based on the size of the house. It could be based on the floor plan of the house. It could be based on the quality of the fixtures and the fittings. It's like, you know, what are you getting the bang for your buck? Look, remember this. When you pay peanuts, you get monkeys, right? Don't focus so much on the price. Focus on who you're dealing with, the quality of what you're getting, and is it comparable to what's going on in the market? So, um, you gotta look out for that. Now, what they'll also do is, they'll try to hook you in and get you to sign contracts on the spot. So, you gotta be very, very careful because quite often, it's not just what's written in the contract that you need to worry about. Sometimes it's what's not written in that contract. So if you don't know that, if you don't understand that, if you don't have a smart legal person who can look through those contracts for you, because there are three things that you probably need if you're gonna do a house and land package, okay? Number one, you need to get what's called a fixed price contract. Now, the reason why I say fixed price contract, because if you don't have a fixed price contract, quite often the builders can put in variations. Now, when they do their site costs, they're doing their work and their excavation work and they start digging, they start doing the footings and the foundations and those sorts of things, guess what? They hit a bit of rock. They have a few problems, they have a few issues. Well then, guess who's gonna pay the bill? You are, because they're gonna put variations on you and they're gonna start putting variations all the way through. So be very, very careful of that. The second thing you wanna do, you wanna have it locked into your contracts, the full inclusions of exactly what you're getting, fixtures, fittings, appliances, you name it. Make sure you know what it is that you're getting. Um, is it 100% fully turnkey? Now fully turnkey, what does that mean? That means the house is built, here's your keys, get your tenants, put them in there, move out, uh, let, the, let the tenants in and your property's done, right? A lot of, lot of properties that I see where they're advertising these lower price price points, okay? It's marketing spin, but here's the thing. A lot of them don't include driveways, fencing, um, antennas, letterboxes. There's a lot of basics out there. That, uh, landscaping's another one, right? That can cost you 20, 30, 40, 50 grand, 60 grand extra. I had a couple of clients come to me recently, already bought house and land packages, First home buyers, I felt so sorry for him. One particular client, I know he's paying between seventy to eighty thousand dollars more now than what he thought on his contract price. Um, another buyer I had, he was around about the fifty thousand dollar mark. So, folks, just be careful out there. It's a minefield. Here's what I think you need to do: get someone beside you who knows the game. 
Get somebody beside you who knows who you're dealing with. I deal with reputable project builders and developers. I've got 10 year relationships with them. We know how to package things up. We know how to price things up. We know what the market's doing. And I know that everybody that buys through me is getting 100% fully turnkey, fixed price contracts, no more to pay, no more nasty surprises. So if you're going out into the housing market, just be very wary about where you go, what you do and who you talk to. And here's one last thing to remember. Last year in Victoria alone, over 400 builders went into liquidation. Now that is ASIC numbers. I think in 2019, 2020, it was something like 534. It is massive what happens out there. If you get caught up with a dodgy builder, it's gonna cost you tens of thousands of bucks. And right now, you don't wanna be making costly mistakes because costly mistakes are gonna screw your financial future and they're gonna pull you backwards and keep you stuck in that shit job that you probably don't even like. All right, folks, hope that helps you out. Catch you on the next video.